Under the spreading chestnut tree, the village smithy stands. The smith, a mighty man is he, with large and sinewy hands, and the muscles in his brawny arms are strong as iron bands. His hair is crisp and black and long. His face is like a tan. His brow is wet with honest sweat. He earns what air he can and looks the whole world in his face, for he owes not any man. Week in, week out, from morn till night, you can hear his bellows blow. You can hear him swing his heavy sledge with measured beat and slow, like a sexton ringing the village bell when evening sun is low. He goes on Sunday to his church. He sits among his boys. He hears the parson pray and preach and hears his daughter's voice singing in the village choir and it makes his heart rejoice. It sounds to him like her mother's voice singing in paradise. He needs must think of her once more for how in the grave she lies. And with a hard, rough hand, he wipes a tear out of his eyes. Toiling, <clears throat> rejoicing, sorrowing, onward through life he goes. Each morning sees some task begun, each evening sees it close. Something attempted, something done, he has earned a night's repose. Thanks, thanks. Thanks to thee, my worthy friend, for the lessons you have taught. Thus, at the flaming forge of life, our fortunes must be wrought. Thus, on its sounding anvil is shaped each burning deed and thought. Mm -hmm.